Good morning, everyone. This is Peter from Aces Deals in New York. I want to wish everybody uh, a great day before we begin. Yesterday, I had posted in several groups uh, a, a basswood plank that we were working on using laser foil. Now, laser foil is a material, very flexible, very durable, uh, available in seven different colors that can be applied to wood, acrylic, metal surfaces, any hard surface, uh, you know, that you wish to apply the laser foil to. And it's a very simple application. That's the purpose of this video. We're going to show you um, how to apply the laser foil, how to engrave it. Now, please keep in mind, we do use the Flux lasers in this particular instance. Uh, we're going to be using the Beam Beambox 40 watt laser. Uh, which we, you know, carry on our website, uh, but we use them in our shop. We have the 30-watt and the 40-watt laser. Um, the 50-watt laser is available also, but we currently do not use it um, <clears throat> in our shop. So uh, yesterday we had uh, posted a picture, uh, uh, not a picture, a post, where we had taken this image. This is a tortoise, and... Uh, you can see, you know, the, the, the intricate detail. It's, it's really a, a cool image. And once we applied it, uh, once we converted the image to uh, an SVG, this was the end result when we laser engraved the laser foil. This is a piece of uh, basswood plank. Uh, this is, if I remember correctly, uh, 10 by 13. And you can see how really nice this came out. Uh, like I said, it's available in seven different colors. In this uh, instance, we used, of course, the uh, glossy green, all right? So we're going to take you step by step the way we do it. Of course, you know, people out there are going to do it a little bit different. Uh, we use Silhouette um, Business, uh, Silhouette Studio Business Edition to convert our images into an SVG. Some people may use Inkscape. Some people may use... Um, I guess Photoshop or Affinity Designer, I'm not sure. But in our case, we use Silhouette Business Edition. Okay, so what we're working with here is, this is a piece of birch wood, an eighth of an inch thick, or in other terms, three millimeters. And it is measuring nine inches by six inches tall. This is gonna be our practice wood so we can show you, uh, you know, how to apply the laser foil. And what I do is I, I roll out the laser foil and then I lay the item on the back of the, on, on top of the white paper. That's the backing on the laser foil. So the black color, of course, is underneath. Okay, so let's cut it and we'll apply it. Okay, once you position your laser foil strip on top of, uh, in this case, the birch wood, all right, you're going to take a credit card, a plastic squeegee, whatever, and you're going to rub the laser foil back and forth, smooth it, smooth it out, get out any crinkles, air bubbles, and so on, so you have a nice, tight adhesion to your product. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we have now taken the squeegee, and we have completely uh, rubbed it all over, left to right, top to bottom, made it nice and flat, all the air bubbles are gone, and now we're gonna put it in the Beambox 40 watt laser. So we're ready to proceed with the next step. We have taken this PNG image right here, and we have converted it to an SVG using Silhouette Business Edition uh, software. Now, many of you use uh, let's say Inkscape, um, uh, whatever other program to create your SVGs. Here at Aces Deals in the shop, we use uh, Silhouette Business Edition. I love the program and it has never failed me yet. So um, we have already taken a picture of the honeycomb bed with the piece of birchwood on it. And you can see the reflection on the, on the laser foil uh, that we applied to the paper. These colored items here are honeycomb clips. We made them using scrap acrylic and we insert them into the honeycomb bed because they hold uh, 
you know, the birchwood down or whatever it is that we're working on, a piece of cork, whatever, so it doesn't shift around, okay? Here's our PNG image right here, all right? And right here is our SVG created by Silhouette Business Edition, okay? So, um, I have to pause it for a second. My phone is ringing. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Are back. Um, I had to take care of a, a member in the group, uh, answer some of their questions. So we're now going to proceed with moving the SVG over. All right. And I always choose color, especially if I'm working with a dark background so I can see what the heck I'm doing. All right. So we're going to adjust it, you know, so the sizing is correct and center the, the uh, SVG. And now we're going to proceed with the engraving of the laser foil, okay? So, uh, because it's wood, I picked the preset in the beam box 40 watt laser to uh, its preset. The power is 25, the speed is 150. I'm actually gonna drop the speed down to 50 millimeters per second, okay? We will now um, <clears throat> set the timer. There's a default warning message. It's analyzing the SVG. Next, it will create a tool path, and then it'll tell us how long it's going to take to do this engraving, okay? Very simple. It's a lot of fun, and this is going to take less than two minutes, okay? We'll be back when the engraving is done. Okay, approximately two minutes later and our image has been engraved onto the laser foil. Now we're gonna proceed with weeding and peeling it. Call from. Okay, we've reached the end. Uh, this is the final uh, product. Now, like I said, this is a six by nine, uh, three millimeter birch wood with the uh, SVG of Betty Boop done in the black laser foil. As you can see, you can see the shininess. It's kind of hard to see. So. Um, once this was done, of course, you had to peel it and then you have to weed out, you know, whatever needs to be removed. So the weeding tool that you see there standing up on the right hand corner is an excellent tool to have. And it just comes out really, really nice. Uh, if you notice, there's no flash burn or anything from the laser. Uh, it's almost like, you know, doing a project where you mask the, uh, you know, let's say the wood or the acrylic, whatever, so you don't have any stray uh, shadow marks from the laser itself. But it came out pretty good. Uh, the engraving itself took, I forgot what it was, less than whatever, three minutes. And the weeding itself took about, you know, 10 minutes. So, of course, the more intricate your design, um, the longer it's going to take for you to peel and weed. So, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.